Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Dawn Elves, where we are playing as Jaharian Exemplars. In this last episode, we declared on uh, Lorunkar and these guys, and looted all that stuff. And all that stuff, and all came over here, and now we produce silk. Isn't that wonderful? In, in the meantime, we are now trying to expand with all the money that we got from all that. And, um, yeah, I think it's going pretty well. Ooh, Bear Cross got iron. And you don't have anything yet. That's totally fine. We need a new guy. Um, I guess you. We don't have too much money. Oh, look at that. They're actually expanding. Good for them. Okay. I would like an extra colonist. That sounds really nice, actually. And I'm going to go for the tech on this one. Extra colonist is going to be very helpful. Yes. Here? Yes. We're just going to do two col- Are we going to only do, only do two colonies for now? Or are we going to try to uh, get kill them? So, truce is in 49. Truce is in 49, and these claims are up in 55. You know, I think killing them might actually be a good option. These guys are friendly. Or they were. <laughs> Not anymore. Historical rival. Oh, boo. Yeah, we can only have 10 guys right now, so... We're gonna have to get rid of most of these, huh? This is costing me a lot of money. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to go to war with them for a while. Yeah, we're just gonna get rid of all that. Yeah, we're just gonna get rid of all that, sadly. Oh well, army down. I'd like to actually, you know, not be poor. We will soon be bigger than we were. And hopefully it'll turn out nicely. But for now, we must wait. Uh, another Learnings of an Elder. This is pretty wonderful. What are we at right now? He is a 446. Let's go for admin. Yeah, that looks good. Don't... Well, I might as well put someone here. Don't quite see the Dry Coast trade node. However, I believe I can. Believe I can get explorers. So that shouldn't be too bad. Better than stealing everyone's maps. That's for certain. Land research useless. Uh, no. Fort maintenance. Sure. And we will be able to form a new country. See fire arrangements? Sounds good. We'll be able to form... We're not doing Phoenix on Fire. Form your own country. That's when we hit 80 dev. We're halfway there. Hopefully it'll go faster. In the coming months. We'll need three caravels for this. That's why we're building three caravels. There's one. You get to have an explorer. Need three, I believe, yeah. Ah, great. Boo. I mean, there's nothing else to do with the diplomat. These guys are cool. Brigade Magnificent. I don't know any of their flavor. Treasure's dead. Can I just get him? Production. Looks nice. Yeah, we're going up by a lot. Ooh, yeah, very nice. Takes on Ooh. You know what we can do? That I forgot. We can click this button three times. It's very nice because it's a capital. Okay, that's done. Capital needs to get a. Let's get a temple, get some more money coming in. For one. Don't lose man recompensation. Um. No. Oh, wait, that's yes. Oh well. It's fine. Oh, look, they know me. We'll be friends eventually. Golden Air for culture. Cool. Oh, Lorenz here. Isn't that fun? And there it is. Time to explore. That one. Where's the node? Can you believe the node's over here? Come on. Go to the node. Well, 
ill-advised. That's pretty decent. Here we go. There's not much here now, but we're going to collect. So it's mine. Got decent money now. Nice. Next is Marketplace. You're going to want that. Oh, there we go. Finally. We can finally progress on this. Over there. Give me that. That should do it. Next mission. Establish Bridgehead. The seat of our power is finally established. Gives me very nice things. Next. Expand the capital. It needs to be 15 dev. It is time to start major construction projects for our capital. Gives me dev cost institution spread. Very nice. The Office of Immigration. With the steady influx of migrants from our motherland, we must organize ourselves to meet their expectations as soon as they arrive. Because it takes points, but local dev cost is very nice. Uh, this is also points, that's fine. Create colonial office. An organized colonization office will allow you to better direct and optimize the flow of our people. Very nice. Settlers come much faster. And develop the capital. Capital dev is 30. As the center of our nation, our capital must live up to the expe expectations of our god. Which gives me center of trade there, and plus three dev. Isn't that fun? Settlement edict is going to be nice. I need 150 dev for that, and I get another colonist. But we actually have enough money we can support a whole other colony. I think another soldier. Yes, very nice. Just going to recall him. And we're going over here. Very nice. Once the soldier's in, I will give it to him. Orcish slaves. Cool. Got some orcs. Very nice. Uh, time for a fort. Where's the fort? That's not the fort. Fort. This is going to be a nice spot for a fort because it'll block both of those. Which the only entrance is in. And settlement edict. With the acquisition of new lands, we need to organize the allocation of land at government level, so as to create no conflicts among our citizens. It's very nice. Extra colonist. We can afford another colony, so we're going to. Where am I putting him? This way. Wonderful. All right. Exploration done. Let's keep it exploring a bit. Let's see the rest of it. Oh, we got a new rival. Well, let's first issue that embargo and happiness among the peasantry. Um, okay. And we're going to spy on these guys instead. So it'll be faster this way. There is a government tech. I will take the points. Definitely. And time for this, which is Pike Gun Squares. Little annoying, because we have the Drosna Tower Shields, which we are going for, or the Improved Golden Phalanx. Gunpowder weaponry changed the infantry formations of the modern age, but the Sun Elves were slow to catch on. Instead, they utilized elite bowmen to bolster their ranks. After all, they had hundreds of years of experience with the aging weapon. Or the Drosnum Tower Shields, which we will be going for. Elven lives should be spent only when necessary. The Drosna, meaning shield, was an updated version of the Tower Shields that were once used in the War of the Sorcerer King. These men would wield shield and long spear and fight defensively compared to their foes, hoping that Sun Elven Resilience would win in a prolonged battle. Very nice. We're actually making money. Look at that. It's no longer a valid rival. Um, thanks, game. Well, I'll take the I'll take the power projection. Oh well. It's hoping I get something at least. Ah, here we go. Pearl's Edge, Treaton. Oh, we got these going. Fun. Coffee over there. Very nice. Exploration done. Keep these exploring. South Ula Cement Ocean or Cleaved Sea Coast? Let's do South Ula Cement Ocean. We see plenty of people over here. 
Anyone hate Lorankar? No, no possible rivals. Yes. Improved fortifications for the rest of the game. Very nice. Oh, I didn't build the fort yet. You get a fort. What do we got? Uh, military. Plenty ahead. Let's go for it. And adventure ideas. Oh, this is just regular adventure ideas. The strange phenomena of adventuring has plagued much of Kandor and beyond since the beginning of time, but no opportunity such as this one has come ever before. Alantir, the lost homeland of the elves, beckons, and we shall answer its call and exploit its opportunities. Got some spices, very nice. Oh, that's something else we can do. Let's bump this up. Level 3. Love that. Four colonies is pretty good. What do we have here? Mm, do I want that? I don't think it's worth it yet. Don't think so, no. Never too late to learn. Ooh! Well, that's really good. Realizing your own deficiencies and delegating to competent people that complement your own abilities is one of the most important aspects of sound rulership. Ikaris is a firm believer in listening to good advice and, and in improving himself by listening to those more experienced. Over time, however, it may be possible to learn what comes natural to others. If we allow Ekaris to devote himself fully, a tutor would likely be able to improve his grasp of some of the more advanced parts of running the Jaharian Exemplar State. Uh, yeah, that sounds wonderful, actually. And this one, instead of going for faster colonies, we're going to go for bigger colonies. I'd rather them be taller. So I can actually get some development on them. Yeah, we've only finished one so far, so I think that's totally fair. Uh, you're currently building that still. Are you not so great on either of those? That one's point one. Wow. What is your dev? Three two two. Huh. Courthouse is worthless, but shipyard would be nice. We'll need shipyards eventually. I'll get a barracks on this one. Definitely. New Miss Spear has rivaled me. No, right, I need to rival them. Luckily, there's a colony there, which means I'll be able to take them on. Oh, they're they're on the Turtle Island. Okay, that makes sense. Company needs new equipment. A lot of money, or just this proceeds. It's not a big deal. Let's hope these colonies go soon, because it's slow going. Starting off like this is slow going, but luckily we get a fun war at the beginning. Diplomat's gone. I would like spy network. Oh, it's fun. I would like to spy on these guys once again. So I can see the highlands. Yeah, I would like to see the highlands. They're allied to all three. Okay, good for them. Time to explore a bit more. Ooh, two of these colonies are done. Wonderful. And this one. Very nice. That means we are here and more money. Very nice. And, better yet, this can be turned off. Nice. Okay, so that's two more colonies. I'm going to put one all the way down there. You can make it. The other one is going over here. We will eventually connect them up. But for now, I want to secure the uh, trading spots. Next one's going over there. Simply so they can secure the Drycos trade. Like those three spots. There's no one on this island, so it's not a big deal. I don't need to send anyone. Yeah, I don't have enough money to send someone else. Ah, Printing Press has spawned. Wonderful. Good for them. And those are both done also. Okay, cool. So next is this one. Spawned really fast. And expand territory. We, we have 100 dev? That was fast. Wow. 
Okay. Didn't expect that. Expand territory. Our people need new lands to continue growing. So, permanent claim on Dry Coast and gain one free stab. Very nice. Next, we are going to form Resin Can. So, here it is. We've settled enough in these newfound lands of Alantir to call it our home. We must move on from our adventure beginnings and turn into a sovereign nation in our own right. Wonderful. Uh, new traditions and ambitions. Yes, please. And now we get to mess with the states. So, mages. Let's see. Organization state. Very nice. Adventurers. Uh, where is... Let's do Pioneer. Yep, that one's good. I want licensed adventures. Very nice. Next, we need monthly admin points, monthly military points, and monthly dip points. That put us a little low, but that's not so bad. I can just grab land. Everyone's happy, yeah. That's fine. We're at 29%. That's not so bad. And are there any monopolies that are really cheap? Well, we're going to take that first of all. Uh, no, what about you? This one is actually really cheap, so I'll take that one. What about you? Do you have any really cheap ones? Grant Colonial Charters. Looks wonderful. Textiles is not cheap at all. Wow. Okay, that looks good. Just one little monopoly. That's fine. That's fine. And this stuff. So, a couple things. So, first, jungle mm, militarized capital. Let's do that one. Now firmly established, it is time for us to begin the Jeherdan administration base to strengthen our military organization. We need three dev, or three staff and 200 mil points. It gives me the option to militarize the capital. These are decisions, I believe. Indivisible people, I need 85% religious unity, 100 admin, and staff three. It is time for us to define the inseparable goal of our people in these ancestral lands. Which gives me really nice stuff, and we get an event in a year. Nice. And then jungle colonization techniques. 100 admin, 100 diplo, and some money. Creating a place in the thick jungles of FLI will not be easy, and we must be prepared in advance so as not to be caught off guard. Alright. Another thing is, I'm going to recall this, we're going to put someone over here. That's you. You're over here. We are about to change this. We're going to get an event. Direction of our country. I would like to be a monarchy. Thank you. And, yep. And that's a really nice air. I will take that. Three, 636. Wonderful. Veteran settling down. Our nation, once a ragged band of adventurers, has grown quite significantly. The elder soldiers of our, in our company are beginning to retire from combat and settle the lands we have conquered. However, the able-bodied can always be enticed back into service, for a reasonable sum. So they become a mercenary company, which is very nice. And if we look here, 13. Cool. I'll grab some horses. Got someone coming in over there. We do not have someone coming in over there. But I did. Five colonists! Oh my goodness. One there. One there. And one there, I guess. That is a lot of colonists. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, let's look at the Cleave C. Yeah, we're going to be spending money on this. I want that colonized. I want pictures of Spider-Man. Yeah, that's exactly what... It... Okay, what do we got here? These are these military decisions. What do I need for these? I need 75 military points, some money, and not currently doing it. Let's see what we get out of this. We need local defensiveness, national manpower, and leader setup. I'm going to do military census first. That seems the most useful. But actually, I'm going to do these. We already have 100 dev. That's insane. How big are these provinces? 7, 7, 10, 8, 7... Yeah, that's why. Oh my goodness. These are big provinces. Okay, I'm going to do military census first. Establishing an efficient and centralized census is essential to maintain an effective army. And the militarizing lasts for two years. That's not so bad. Cost money, but I get manpower modifier. 
Ooh, another thing. I do want Land of Adventure, but... Mm, Crown Land. Um... Not making that much money. We're losing just a little bit. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. Lavronkar has rivaled me. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. This one, we're going for shipboarding. Yes, please. Lavronkar, I would like to rival you. Little butt. Fargo. Nice. We are not going to be anywhere near taking them on before these claims expire. And I'm fine with that. I'm totally fine with that. House of Shaken. Five prestige. So better. And it looks like we control all the trade here, so that's really nice. Need some boats to fully control it, but it's fine for now. Bulbari Immigration. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Game, please. The news of our success continues to attract new immigrants from our homelands, so we get 300 pop here. Really nice. This is going fast. I like this. Started to really speed up. Ooh, we got tea. Tea is nice. Elves like tea. Our old home in Elizna had a lot of tea. They produced tea. Okay. Boats. Over here. We got some more exploring to do. Cleaved sea coast, please. Yeah, the Keons over there are having fun. We have six colonies out of five. Stranger in a strange land. As our ship approaches Proilasi, this island, large numbers of gift lane canoes start to follow it. The canoe's occupants have fearlessly boarded the vessel, and two seemingly important fellows are trying to persuade the ship's captain to follow them to Ormam. Their intentions seem innocent, and we can espy from the few words our translator can pick out that we have arrived just in time for a festival of some sort. Our ship's mast formation, sails, and riggings resemble certain significant artifacts for the natives, and our clock clockwise route around the island mirrored the path the procession stake during the festival. This has convinced the natives that we are friendly, but one false move, it might change. You know what? I will let Ormond like, like me more. That sounds fine. I'm totally fine with that. We're leaving my friend. They say, heck no. They say, you're not worth it. Even though they're over here, in the colonies. I mean, other than the slavery, Ormond's pretty cool. Or mom, we're like, your mom. <laughs> Got him. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Uh, taxes. That aren't really worth it. Barracks. That's something you need. That looks fun. That's iron. It's not that good. Right now. Courthouses. None of those are really necessary. Alright, cool. We're losing too much money, so it's fine. 66%. Oh my goodness. That is ridiculous. Where is... Where, where do you see that? 60... Oh, Lord! That is so high. Uh, let's do Torn Sea. And we'll get up to the Salahad. Back to our roots. Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's get this... Mm, are you in? Yes, your spices. And you're very nice. So what I'm going to do is we're actually going to spawn. What's it called? Don't tip my tongue. Printing press. We're going to spawn printing press here. Ooh. We're going to wait on that, huh? Our purpose? After having arrived on the lands of our ancestors, it is time for us to define once and for all our place in this world. Debates arise countrywide among soldiers and civilians alike, and, our, and people wonder, what is our goal? What should we do? believe that unlocks the next mission. We need 100 of each point, and need to be ready to accept our destiny. And then an event happens. We are ready to embrace our destiny, and like the phoenix, to be reborn from ashes, like the sun, to rise at dawn. Our destiny. Children of the sun, why do you ask about our purpose, when our destiny is clear? Alantir, and indeed, all of Halan, was formerly under the rule of our ancestors. Therefore, it is our duty to restore the just order and establish our legitimate sovereignty over all the races of Alantir, a new dawn on the horizon. So every single province we own has a 90% chance to be Dawn Elf instead of Sun Elf. 
And if we look, looks like that was all of them. Nice. Uh, we got a new mission. Ah, up here. A crown to govern all. We need to have a 555 leader. He is a 556, in fact. And a powerful mage. Wonderful. Primary culture is Donnell. As the supreme leader of our nation, it is important for the central seat of power to differentiate its status from all other inhabitants of the kingdom. And what better for that than to forge a queen crown to assert the divine power of the king of kings? Who's. Yeah, petty king. <laughs> And this gives me 50 admin, and Enlightened Elven Empire happens. As our realm continues to grow, it is finally time for us to dedicate our government and ensure that our leader represents the highest, holiest authority within the Empire. So, we are a theocracy. Uh, okay. Oh, I want to do a monarchy. Oh well. Max promoted cultures, plus 2. Institution spread in true faith, plus 15%. Add efficiency 5, max absolute system 10. Let's see if there's any flavor on it. Enlightened Elven Empire. That's actually really nice. A theocratic empire ruled by one who derives his divine right to rule by Surael himself, chosen to spread his light across all the people of Valentir. Fixed to empire rank. Ooh, nice. Fixed to empire rank. I like that. That's really nice. I would like you to be my friend. I will take you out eventually, but for now, air needed in Rezakan. So, uh, new guy, please be good. I like the last guy. Oh well. Okay, we got one of these done. Nice. What is this? What is this? Oh, this is one of those. Okay, that's fine. Next, you get to be part of a state. Thank you. Ah, we're down to four. That's fine. You get to have it, because that was a little too much. Uh, let's see, which one are we doing? Ooh, we have another one. Military Academy gives me leaders that upkeep, local defensiveness, and... Oh, that's something else. Forging the sword will allow us to further increase the power of the Sanctified Emperor. Is that one of these missions? <laughs> Lord, that's, that's going to be a while. Yeah. Ooh. That's pretty fun. So let's do Forge Dozenir. We need a sword fit for our Sanctified Emperor. Let's do that one. Wonderful. And we've done that. And I believe we're going to fortify the Outer Wall. That sounds fun. In order to protect our capital in all circumstances, we must build strong walls around it. That's the next one. Very good. And up here, a sword to conquer all. More a symbol than a real weapon of war. Dozenir. Dazenar, Dazenar, Dazenair? Dazenair exists for the sole purpose of confirming the military power of our Emperor. Which is really nice. That would be stab, but I don't need the stab, do I? And this need 4,000, and manpower is 40,000. It's pretty nice. Okay, that's really nice, actually. Oh, I know what I can do. I can build a mage tower here. I'm going to expand that anyway. Force one and on ordinances. Um, you can take the autonomy. It's not a big deal. All right. We control the southern tip of this island. Very nice. Let's keep exploring. South Sarhole Coast. Nah, West Salahad. That'll actually be useful. Conquistador has. Oh, not the not that one. Okay, cool. We're gonna wait. Yeah. Ooh, he's actually kinda decent. How are we looking on that? We can get two more guys. So we make a cannon. Command exists. Uh, cool, nice. Oh, we might be able to get this soon. That'd be cool. Okay, new colony done. Very nice. Any other coastal stuff down here? Yes, just a couple. I'm gonna have you do that. And 
You are on this one. Okay, you're down there. I'll send one guy here. Yeah, it'll be fine. Very nice. This is going very nicely. Looks like we'll have secured the entirety of the Dry Coast once we get down here. Oh, do we still have that? Yeah, Legacy of Adventurers is going to last until 1590. Minus 50% admin efficiency. Ugh, yuck. But otherwise, it's not that bad. Orcish Slaves, very nice. Got some orcs somewhere. Native Rising, whatever. Okay, that one's done. Nice. Come back here. I just want all of the dry coast for now. Okay, where'd we get? Down there. Wonderful. And then one of these needs to be done soon. I guess it's going to be that one. Got to push you over here. Ah! They got that one. Oh well. That's the rent. They have a colony there. Colonial expansion. I will take that. Thank you very much. What do we have here? Elven Sea. I need four provinces in separate coast. The mother of trade and prosperity. We will make a priority of controlling our seas through establishing our administration on the islands bordering it, which gives me a permanent claim on the Severed Coast region. Wonderful. All of that. Permanent claim. Huh? Why do I still have claims on those? Oh, that those go away in 55. 75? Huh? I guess they renewed, because I formed Resin Hand. Huh. Interesting. Because they're not permanent. Bulwari Immigration. On that province. Very nice. Uh, and on that one, too. Nice, we got humans. I'll take them. I will definitely take humans. Means making my colonies go faster. We were so close. I could have had it. I was not paying attention. That is annoying. Yeah, keep going on what's all I had. Get the rest of those done. Okay. Ooh, these guys are gonna die. These guys are gonna die, die, die. But that's fine, because I have permanent claim on all of them. Isn't that fun? Bulwari Immigration, which one? Ooh, this is actually development. Local dev cost. Ah, gross. Okay, they are good, so I think it's time to actually start debbing here. Yeah. Alright, fine. Bleh. Hmm, can we make these guys happy? Probably. Free Enterprise will probably make them happier. And Calamity Pass, that looks fun. Are you guys want to be my friend? Yay! Let's be friends. That sounds fun. They're nearby, they will protect me. Or they will help me at least. Bountiful Harvest, wonderful. Mad Seer, um... He claims to be a seer who has seen the civic glory, the destruction of secular art and culture, and the great flood that will cleanse Jeherdin from its filth. The Mad Preacher calls for new sun cult renewal, and has instituted an extreme puritanical campaign, enlisting the help of Jeherdin's young men. There is a risk that he will cause disturbances, or even dispute sanctified Emperor Icarus' Esca right to rule. Um... Lose devotion, nah. I'll take an admin hit. This sucks, but actually, nah. I don't wanna. How about that? Hey, he's starting to get down. Yeah, that's why. That was a lot of points. Um, reinforced speed is probably the better one. I don't really want reinforcement. Because when he dies, it makes everything complicated. 
Why am I doing that? Because, uh, if we look... Uh, rivals. Lorankar has a stupid amount of artillery. <laughs> like a stupid amount for this point in the game. 80 a year, 70 a year, alright. Coffee and fish. Ooh. Resin Military Academy, the last one. Alright. What is an army, if not led by the cream of the crop? Well, let's make sure we never miss an officer. Alright, and that'll be the last of those. We get modifiers here. Ventures wanted. Ugh. This guy's mad. I don't like it. Um. Let these guys come in. Here we are. Uh, Calamity Pass, please. Thank you. What we're going to do is adventurers get to have generous crest rewards. Because then, um, how much land? Only five. Oh, that's fine. How can I do this? 55. In a couple days. There we go. Yeah, I kind of figured that would happen. That's fine. Oh, that's done. Nice. Okay. That means I can start working on some fun things. Okay, all of these are... One, two, three. Okay, cool. I can actually just start doing these then. Let's go for that. Learnings of an Elder. Um, Let's do... Diplo. That was fun. What's these? 566? Six, six? Yeah. Nice. When this is done, we're going to finish devving um, printing press there. Everything will be fine. Okay, they will still have that problem because I don't really care about it, about it enough. It also means I want some flutes. I think five will be fine. Eh, six. Six is fine. And I'm also going to grab some galleys after that. Uh, an advisor, natural scientist, will approach Elizna for better relations. I don't need that. Uh, I'll take the prestige. Elizna's my friend. Oh, it's time. Lorankar. Lorankar, Lorankar, Lorankar. Steel map. I want Highlands. No oh, boo. Hmm. Would you let me through? Of course not. Let me drill. You can go for Star Hall, that's fine. Hopefully it happens soon enough that I can grab at least one guy off of this. Put him on that island. Human minority grows? Wonderful, good for them. I like humans. Ooh! What I do? Improve administration. Uh, fully militarized. Okay, cool. Let us staff the administration with the talented civil servants to ensure that it runs like well-oiled machinery. Gives me legacy of adventures is removed. Costs 100 admin. Worth it. 100% worth it. Ooh, nice. I'll take that. Onto the island. Very good. Alright, and now you will give me your map. Very nice. No longer need to do that now. Alright. Alright, wonderful. You did it. How are we looking on that? I can get three more guys. Let's do that for now. Do you have a barracks? You do. Decadence come with age. Well, that sucks. Bump that up. Bulvari immigration. Which province? Oh, in the capital. Wonderful. Because the integrated humans will do a death cost. Minus 10. Nice. Once this comes in, we'll finish it. 
boats. Uh, South Star Hulk, oh, sure. No longer a valid rival, boo. Okay, these guys are in. Come on, me and those two also. And over there. And let's grab some galleys. Twelve galleys looks good. I should have a permanent claim on that. Ooh, we got a province done. This one, nice. No, this one, nice. Price of this is notably less. Good. Hmm, where do I want to go next? I will need to get this eventually. In the meantime, let's move for this one. Can I? That one's not done. Oh, we only have three guys left. Eh, we can, we can afford four. Spices, and that one's done. Nice. Do we have this whole state? No, of course not. Um, I guess we'll send him over here. This one. Right there. No, oh, wait. Here's the guy. You're there. You're here. You come back to this army and drill. Hey, look at that big name. Nice. And we've gone a little long, so I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time.